Okay. And the factory where we're looking for that cult thingy is right around here too, so... Perfect. Just to make sure what's happening here. Reptilians meeting at midnight. Oh my freaking gosh. Is there life in the cosmos? Is there anyone pulling the strings? If so, why? And why the fuck do they let all this evil shit happen? Well, we will find all the answers in this little old factory. You know what the teenage girls say? There's a little truth behind every just kidding. That's an old Mai Mai. Unpainted. Ow! Yeah, okay. Standing on this side is better. At least the people stop for you. Dude, no one is taking out the trash. I mean, they are, but no one's taking out the trash in the dump. Ah. Uh, it's none of my business. Who's fighting? Tiger Claws? Oh, okay. My business. It is my business now. Who's the other one? Tiger Claws. Scavengers. I only care about the scavs. This guy's just standing still for some reason. The thing is, though, the Tiger Claws will attack me. I'm out of here, guys. None of my business. You're welcome, by the way. Helped you win. This is a nice view. I like it. It's not too advanced, not too down in the dumps. Now we gotta find a way around, and the mini-map is telling me I gotta go the other way. Hoping you change your mind soon. Oh, we got some netrunners here. Oh, uh, am I gonna be okay? Um, Might have better luck on land over here, but I'm gonna keep trying to... Um, see. We're close. Ah, but it might be on the other side of that fence. The charge jump would be really good right about now. Time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno necromancers? Both, if we're lucky. Ah, uh, fingers crossed for unicorns, actually. Always believe they'd fly down from planet Nabiru and destroy us with rainbow lasers of love. You're adorable. Didn't realize you still had a childlike imagination and intelligence. Oh, you're, you're so smart. Around. Gotta be quiet, gotta wait. They meet at midnight. Instantaneous teleportation. Isn't that convenient? Yeah, there's not even anything here. It's really abandoned. Guess we'll see. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Oh, tiger claws. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maelstrom actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. They're waiting for somebody. Why would I stand up? I don't wanna. <gasps> Who's that?
John Doe. Oh, that's mysterious. Jane Doe? Oh my god, we don't know who they are. <gasps> it is the reptilians. Can't believe it. There's some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. Oh, we can't hear though. Let's get closer. What says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to her? They're exchanging code words. Yo, that lady has the pointy legs. In the age of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the tenth circle from the ancestors' eyes. I don't think it's wise for us to bust out of here and immediately be like, hey, you know, kill that person and try to get the chip. But I don't know what timing to do it with because they're leaving! Should I be getting on a bike right now? My most reliable Mai Mai. You're too far! They're leaving. But I'm scared the conspirators are gonna leave too! But Mai Mai won't come over here. I can just system reset them, no problem. But the less people that know about how we know about this, might be better. Secretly, I hope this is related to- oh, where are you going, man? I hope this is related to like the whole Paralysis business, but it's gonna be something stupid, isn't it? Okay, I probably can't steal the chip without downing them, so I gotta do it. But like, do these people want to go or what? I'll give you three more seconds. One. Two. Okay. Oh, now they're leaving. What the hell? Okay, well, that's one way to make an exit. Were you supposed to drive away, but you forgot? Should I show myself? What do I do? <laughs> I, I think something went wrong here. Terribly. Hey, the system reset didn't work on the other one. They're inside the car, though. My chip now. I was hoping for green blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> Something went terribly wrong here. But it kind of worked out okay. Destroy after reading. What was that about? Shard. Destroy after reading. Encrypted, of course. There's not that many BDs here. 
55, 1C, 1C, BD, okay. You're not gonna show it to me? Destroy after reading. Phosphor radiates, occluding jaded eyes. Come, Titan. Outward ring avian choruses, looping eternity. Cages of men melt as night descends. Emerge Zelgua, erect Chochula under these expanses. Puppets lie awake, never sleeping. Uh, okay, that seems like code. This seems like some kind of code. But can we decipher it? No, that's why we want to bring it to Gary, right? Yeah, how far away is he? Not too far. Want to drive this? Ah, oh, but I can't use this car though. It won't move. Maybe that's what these people were having trouble with too. They couldn't get away. All they could do was sit here and get rammed by the mouse roamers. <laughs> Shion? I didn't drive this one yet. If you'd actually want to come over here, though. Yeah, because the area we're in right now is kind of um, not the road. So the cars won't come in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about one of my favorite places, the Pacific Northwest. Since Biotendica took over there way back during the time of the Red, they've been making a forest grow. Time of the Red. The spotted owls are nesting again, and I even heard the Sasquatch is back. And if any of you can get me the interview, I'd really like that. But it's not all paradise, folks. There's something else going on. Ever hear of Amalaria Solidipes? Probably not. But it used to be the largest living organism in the world, a single fungal growth that stretched beneath miles of the Oregonian wilderness. And that was just a century ago. Unfortunately, was that real? Plagues, acid rain, and pollution ended that, and a fungus was declared all but dead by the middle of the century. <laughs> well, good news for mushroom fanatics everywhere. It's back and better than ever. Biotechnica has been to return this organism a top priority for the Ecological Restoration Project in the Northwest, and they've got the patent filings to prove it. I checked the NUSA and EUC patent Oops. offices, and Biotechnica's got patents for solidities for the purposes of soil improvement. Well, that checks out. And biodiversity measurement. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, but what's this one? Bioinformatic Neural Simulation. Now that sounds interesting. I decided this was worth looking into, so I got a friend of mine to give me some satellite images of the area of that fungal restoration. Smack dab in the middle of it is a biotechnical black lab. That's not that strange, except that the place is linked up in a big way. Transmission towers, sat dishes, what looks like even a hardline data fortress. Why all the comms? Well, I think it's because they're out there building an AI, an AI made of mushrooms. What? Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but why not? It's been known for a century that mycorrhizal networks are capable of processing data. Similar to our data digital networks. And a construction like this would let Biotechnica fly to the NetWatch restrictions on AIs. Because no one wants to end up like EBM. But what I still don't know, listeners, is what that AI would be for. Proto analysis, net weapon, genetic simulation. So, if any of you are planning to take a trip up north, do me a favor and flip over a few logs and let me know what you find. I'll be interested. Okay, so long story short, a mushroom went extinct, and now Biotechnica is trying to bring it back, but they're trying to build an AI made of mushrooms. What on earth is happening here? Biodiversity? Oh yeah, that's so diverse here. There's not even animals. What? We demand justice for Prophet Gary. Where'd he go? Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him. Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all. Looked just like he said. Then, then 
they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership. Blue eyes. How could you stop them? They look scary. You trying to be funny? No, I'm thinking. No one's tried to help? Not a soul. The police say he's sick. Truth of it is he knows too much. He's a threat to him. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri. Care to spare a few Eddies? In love and memory? Wait, you just went and assumed he's dead already? <laughs> oh. Got this chip here. Mind taking a look? How do I know you ain't one of them? Soon as I tell you what I know, you'll cut my face off and pretend to be me. I ain't dumb. We have the technology. We don't need to cut people's faces off here. <laughs> if I give her money, she might know things about the chip suddenly. <laughs> All right, I'll toss in a bit. This is for you, Gary. Thanks. That ought to cover his nose. Wow. Sue Glover. Are you actually his disciple? Got this chip here. Mind taking a look? <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Hi, what is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened! They here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppets. Oh, calm down. Who is? The Techno Necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming. The eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? I don't Give know, because Gary's back. actually gone. That lack of closure I'm sucks. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Hmm. Where is your sense of imagination? I choose to believe that we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating. Romantic, even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards sketched out on their power fantasies. Think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. But it kind of freaked me out how both those people didn't have names. It was just John Doe and Jane Doe. And they didn't speak a word or anything, and we didn't find out anything about them. Sorry, that person looks like Maiko. And Gary's actually gone though, like that's... Hmm. She mentioned something about blue eyes earlier, and uh, I didn't notice when I was playing it, but at the end of the Paralysis quest, when we were talking to him, apparently somebody was on the balcony far away watching us, and if you scan him, that person's name is like Blue-Eyed Man or something. So that... Is this actually related to Paralysis stuff? The whole conspiracy stuff? That's spooky. Maybe that's gonna be like DLC content or something. That might be cool. So maybe it's not Corpos, but Rogue AIs. Yet again. Okay. Probably- Hey, why don't we do a main quest? It's been forever. The parade's been- Well, it's nighttime right now, but I'm sure- Yeah, let's- let's go to the parade. Why don't we? Blind? Back in here. Oh, but I think around here, there was also another small quest, right? If we can do that too, that'd be awesome. Talk to Takemura. In the same spot again. Oh, why are we back here? You didn't even like the food. I'm pretty sure you didn't like it. Yeah, there's another smaller job here. Is it okay if we do that one first? 
without going past Takemura, if possible. Glam now! The mag for those who love this for themselves. This is definitely new. Heard about the latest and greatest brain dance diet? Our prediction, 2078's hottest new trend, BD Diet Advocate and world beloved fashionista Amber Daisy is no stranger to us at Glam. In an exclusive interview, she shared her secrets and stories about the journey her body has been on. Amber has been keeping her intake of synth and Ganic products to a bare minimum over the past several months and instead only experiences her meals through BDs. What? With a properly tuned BD, Amber says she dives in with a growling stomach but comes out of virtue feeling like she just finished binging a banquet. Can we hope to see Amber back in America to promote this latest craze? We're keeping our fingers crossed. Mmm, because brain dances simulate the feeling of something actually happening. So could you could you feel full despite not having eaten food? I mean, I guess so. All foods. Eat what you know. Hungry? Thirsty? Never use these words again. At All Foods Inc., we have helped millions around the globe forget the pain of an empty stomach. The problem now? Your heart will stop when you hear about our gargantuan selection. You ask, how is it possible All Foods can offer it without compromising on quality? The answer is simple. Our employees utilize the latest in food systems technology, developed in-house by our team of scientists and dietitians who understand the needs of both your body and soul. Triple crisp sprinkle fried sin chicken? No problem. Kale garlic hybrid vitamin bombs? You got it. Carnivore, herbivore, insectivore, vegan. At All Foods Inc., there is something for everyone. Still curious, there is a tiny taste of our tremendous selection. In vitro meat including beef, pork, poultry, and All Foods engineered interspecies combos. Ooh. A wide selection of vegan products prepared using the best sea algae and vegetables sourced from our state-of-the-art hydroponics lab. Glyceritic milks colored with the purest calcium carbonate. Lipid mixed synthetic eggs enriched with vitamin A. And a cornucopia of candies loaded with artificial flavors. So syrupy sweet, it puts nature to shame. But remember, when you choose all foods, you choose with your taste buds and your health. All of our products are produced and stored in sterile facilities. Consumers should always avoid organic meats and unlabeled foodstuffs obtained from black market shops. Unregulated meat and produce can lead to infections, chronic disease, and even death. <sighs> organic. Well, I feel like these days, organic is definitely, like, a good thing, right? Well, it's definitely more expensive. But now they're like, no, don't eat anything organic. Yokai, Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes on mountaintops, in rivers and oceans, on city streets and on every mega-building floor with a number 4 in it. <laughs> Even in your washing machine or invo-visor. Some appear in concrete places, while others simply haunt a specific person. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the desert. They're there when you feel someone's watching you, although there's not a soul in sight. They're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to have noticed. But you were just at the river docks for your checkup. The yokai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, though closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, have been alive in Japanese consciousness from the very birth of animism. It's not that the Japanese believe in the yokai, they simply know the yokai exist. Yada yada yada. In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai also include a group of shape shifting demons called obake or bakemono. The Bakemono are said to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow, or a cat. Yeah, that cat that we keep seeing, not the one at home. But that, that cat, tends to appear around Johnny too. And maybe that's why the cat at our house is attracted to me, because it kind of knows that I'm Johnny. It's said that when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a Bakeneko. Oh, right here. These yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak and dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. The bakeneko sometimes visit people in their sleep or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more. One should exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a nekomata, a yokai with shamanic and necromantic capabilities, able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a nekomata resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or other with an eerie, disturbing air about her. Same name as our sniper rifle. However, let me assure American readers of this book today 
The most likely place you'll find a bucket neko is in the form of a lucky maneki neko figurine. After all, real cats are an even rarer sight these days than your average yokai. Somebody's gotta be raising a fuss about this. How can they do this? No. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much to read today. We've read this one. I wanna go down, actually, but wasn't there like an elevator around here? Or was that the other side? Oh, maybe I can go up here? Because I don't want to accidentally run into Takemura when I don't want to yet. Here we go. Oh, where did I end up? This might be a different place. Should I be here? Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Fifty-five? E9. Let's see. Forever young. Inheritance. Yes. I just want to get out of here? Am I in the right place at all? Usually when we find stuff to jack. Yeah. Oh no, I feel like this might be part of the parade quest actually. Kind of get the impression it is. Can we just go down? 150 meters? Um, without talking to Takemura. This might work. Hold on. <laughs> I think we'll still get close to him, though. Yeah, just because we're on the roof doesn't mean we're not getting close. Okay, Muro- oh, he's right there. No! So no! Don't look at me yet! Don't look at me yet! I'm not ready. I'm not ready. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I just want to go down. Is that- Ah, oh, here we go. One second, okay, Takemura? One second. <laughs> He's been standing there waiting for me for 20 years. And yet, I ignore him again. Here we go. Yaiba. That's the brand for the Kusanagi car. Yaiba also means a sword. Rather lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again? Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where did you vanish to? Someone else needed me. You left really fast, though. Felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? How much for another one? That is for you to decide. 233. I don't mind paying, but putting a price on the BD kind of seems... Hmm, putting a price on spirituality. But I don't want him to work for free. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Are you gonna disappear this time? This is a meditation of the water element. We are in the forest. Before us is a waterfall. Spirit of water, I send you greetings. 80% of our flesh and blood is made of you. Oh, what a mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid, the next you are ice, another you are snow, vapor, and fog. One minute you heal, the next you drown. Wash me of sickness, pain, 
the impurity of my body and soul, the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me youth, wisdom, knowledge, health, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. We draw the spirit of water into ourselves. Together, we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. I'm a little bit sleepy. After closing my eyes during that whole thing. He's gone yet again. Maybe we're gonna see him four times, for each of the elements. Gone. Just like the last time. Oh, well, someone else needs him. Can you imagine how hard it is to uh, disconnect from this place, though? Ads everywhere. And even not ads, just information. Things. How do we just get away and have a moment of nature? <laughs> this one little... Uh, pretty sad little shrine of nature here. It's nice that we have it, but it's... We need more. We need more greens in the city. Well, thank you, Zen Master. Maybe I'll see you again. Perfect. Perfect little meditation before we see Takemura. Oh dear, I may have forgotten where that elevator is already. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's, uh... Uh-oh. I forgot which way we came from. Oh, hey! How's it going? Are you guys selling... Okay, you guys hey are there. selling Ballsy Magazine. Are you like a fake monk or what? Hmm. Yeah, I thought uh, there was a religion that didn't approve of the implants, right? But you guys have some of these visor things. Although it kind of looks like some kind of tinfoil tape. <laughs> oh my gosh, speak of the devil, look at that. This again! We have this everywhere. What is it? What is this supposed to be? What's it holding? Holding a beam and then... A ball. It's got four hands. It's like Cyberpunk City's Statue of Liberty or something. Yeah, so we gotta find the elevator again. If only I could remember which way we came from. Was it here? Arasaka. In 2023, Night City was shaken to its core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb in Arasaka's NC headquarters. 12,000 were killed instantly by the blast, and thousands more later succumbed to acute radiation sickness. 12,000. Which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies has forever left a mark on our city's history. And now, an important message for Watson residents. The homelessness problem plaguing the district's sewer system will be addressed as fumigation of the tunnels begins tomorrow. What? Due to the use of potent neurotoxins, Watson residents are urged to stay clear of storm drains and sewer entrances to minimize risk of injury and death. Next. You hear what they're saying? They're solving the homelessness problem by putting poison into the sewers. Oh, wow, that's so helpful. Thank you. Takemura. B, just in time. Goro, if you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. Round-the-clock hotline. 
That is not funny. You're right, it's not. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit, we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Did you ever explain to me how you were gonna jump like a hundred feet into the air? Or are you just gonna get that figured out? Wait, if, if things go to shit, we got a backup plan? What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. As a quick recap, we're here to stop the parade so we can talk to Hanako. Yes, Hanako's bodyguard. Are you ready or not? Yeah, because they were saying that he's got to be near her and he will not let us talk to her, which means we probably got to fight him. I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. But you're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Huh, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. <laughs> I think Oda would be a pretty crappy bodyguard if he saw, oh, okay, it's Takemura, I'm not gonna attack him. Right? Be what? This is all about the, the Arasaka discipline and values again. Stay safe, Goro. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, the fish is here. Position. The floats have started to move. Remember to be careful or you will face Arasaka drones. I also spotted the Netrunner in an Arasaka uniform. She is somewhere hidden. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Hanago-sama's float appears. Is that time-based? Oh, I want to join the parade too! Oh, whoa, lady! Nice sleeves! Oh, the fish! The koi fish! Sign of prosperity! Something, something! We have so many! Oh, there's the float. Oh, wow! It's almost like a different place. Even all the usual ads have been turned off for today. Or hidden away. Modified Arasaka Tech AV. Heavy duty transport. Am I being timed? I want to look around. Hanako sama, wait. Hey, what's going on? Why'd you shut the elevators down? Security reasons. Are you fucking kidding me? You want me to take the stairs all the way down? There are quicker ways if you're interested. No? Come on. Waste of words. I have this scrolled! 
You can't treat people this way. Arasaka guards not letting people through. Okay. I hear fireworks. How much do people even care about this Hanako though? <laughs> it's like an excuse for a celebration. But Hanako, Shmanako cares. Saburo Arasaka, the poor chap. World's most powerful turned into a commercial hack. Surprised. He's a symbol, an icon. Even in death, his net worth's increased markedly. And the court will show it all off in Night City. I suppose we're not nearly as independent here as we make ourselves out to be. I feel like that's the first time we've heard some British accents in here. Guys! Wow! It's pretty! Oh, this is so packed! It's jam-packed here! But it's all like regular people. We don't see any Arasaka guards yet. Arasaka guards right among the crowd would be a pretty big buzzkill. Yeah, this is the stuff we saw back in the factory, but I don't know which one Arasaka or uh, Hanako is gonna be in. Oh! Oh, that's not a fish! Oh, maybe we can get a better view if we go up there. Hold on. It'll be beautiful! Just a juxtaposition of the masses celebrating corporate culture and having exactly no share in its capital. Let me see it now. Let me see that fucking juxtaposition! <laughs> uh, how's this? Cream, hot! Oh, I'm gonna spew a load! Uh, not in public, please. Okay, this thing has been talking. Oh, that's Hanako! Wait, I forgot what this parade is for. Celebrating her being in the city? Like, why are you guys celebrating? Saburo just died. You should be in a period of mourning or something. Oh, shouldn't even be out here. Back inside, back inside. <gasps> uh, come on, I say. It's beautiful. It's not often you get to see a whole bag full of white candy. Uh, Excuse me! Anyways, place mines around it. Get me? <laughs> Anyone breathes on it? Poof! They'll be turned into a cloud of confetti. He might be talking about the laser I turned off earlier. Oh, look, a dragon! Very, like, uh, Asian-style dragon. The ones that don't really have wings, but they're like a long snake. Why does everybody have those sleeves? I want some. You are close. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd, not his back. Won't know what hit him. Founder and CEO of the largest and greatest defense contractor in history, Soldier. Ah, uh, there's that one. Visionary, my father. These words are not for his friends, members of his family, or for his Wow, business. hey, this is a nice spot that nobody. Oh. I think we just went through the same place, right? Like we went through the room earlier. And now we are here. It's the same place. Arasaka Industrial Transformer controls power delivery to billboards, prone to causing electrical surges. Will that... Hmm. What's gonna happen though if I use this? Nothing in particular? Yeah. Do we need to breach protocol people here? Just in case, anyway. There's a time limit, though, right? And judging by how slowly I'm going right now, 
We might need to do it again later on. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? Look at that! One C's everywhere. Uh, I'm done though, I can't... Hmm... He's on a walkie-talkie, so I kind of worry about downing him a little bit. Goro, pick out the one closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. This is happening here. Who's even watching that? Oh, there's- Whoa, people are totally watching me take out this guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this one. It's like a gigantic boat. Are there more? Oh, it's like a scary mask. Oh, whoa. Back in the normal people area again. Fuck yourselves! Hush up! You crazy? They killed Tom and didn't even bother releasing his body. And there ain't no compensation without no body. Hyenas, murderers, and fucking thieves. That's what they are. Cool it, all right? You can't know who's listening. That's the motherfucking problem. Nobody's listening! Yeah, and we're celebrating now. The city... <laughs> nice when you're in the favor of the corpse. Probably not so nice when you're not. You are... You are someone special, Kannushi. You're praying here? Elevator? Excuse me. Oh, I can't jump here. I just want to look at that shard if that's all right. Excuse me, everybody. Do you mind? Oh, there's more. There's so many. I can't get over to the shard because I can't jump. Well, okay. There's a helmet. Higher we go. P, this is important. Oda is speaking to someone. I am linking you in. We both can listen. Again, security is substandard. It meets none of our norms. Hanako-sama should not be here. You questioning Yorinobu's orders? Do your damn job. Understood. Over and out. Mm -hmm. It is just as we expected. Oda is here. I will contact you with any news. I know that borged out ogre. Adam fucking Smasher. Oh, you recognize his voice. I was wondering how many people can even speak to Oda like that. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Saburo, I'll have to be satisfied with Smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine. We. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Well, I don't think I've ever seen Johnny so restless. He's... getting affected by knowing that Adam Smasher is here. Hey, this one's not a hologram! How is it floating? Do they have like a string or like what? Is it electronic? It looks... It looks like snakeskin. Ugh. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Nothing over here? Oh, why do we have a job to do? It's so crowded downstairs, but no one's even up here. Guys, this is where all the good seats are. No surprises here. All the factions have peeps on the ground. No, don't think so. It is Sarasaka, you know. If there was going to be any bloodletting, they'd do it behind closed doors. The fox? Remember when we saw it? I think the fox head was, like, not even attached. 
Oh no, people! Hey, stop slacking! Keep dancing! Keep dancing, I'm watching you. <laughs> For a futuristic parade? Yeah, these holograms are cool. But the... what do you call these things? The animatronics or the... the... like the mascot stuff? It's still like very obviously old school, electric powered and super slow moving. <laughs> Don't look too stable. Sure, Takamura didn't plan a little whoopsie daisy for you. Well, that would be really unfortunate for you then, because we'd never be able to get Smasher then. Fuck! Almost fell. <laughs> Carefully, you must not draw attention. Okay, that freaked me out. Told you so. You think he planned it though? Johnny doesn't trust anybody. Oh jeez. Silence is not golden. You're damn right. Silence is not golden. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. I'm watching. 